setting up for success. We're now going to start talking about what you do to get ready for the meeting. And this is just an introduction uh, from now until 4 o'clock, and, and we're going to really finish our conversation tomorrow. Uh, if you look at this diagram, we're, gonna, we're focusing in the middle, the core meeting process. Getting ready for the meeting, which is setting up, conducting the meeting, which we've spent time with today, and then follow, following through, which we'll talk about tomorrow. So let's talk about setting up. If we go to page two, and think about this. Builders design a blueprint before they construct before constructing a house. Athletic teams draw up a game plan before going out on the field. And for the same reason, meeting members and facilitators need to create a plan for their meeting. This is an important meeting. And I think if, if, if you've been doing this as long as I have, sometimes we develop the attitude of, I've done this so many times, I'm going to go in there and, you know, there's nothing I haven't seen and there's nothing I haven't done, so I'm just going to go in there and take care of business. And that's when we hit the wall. We need to put some time in in preparation, and that's what we're going to talk about. The statement at the bottom, you go slow to go fast. How many times a week do I eat those words? I get in a hurry and I rush through something and I'm making a mistake, an error, and now I have to go back and I have to fix the error and it takes me twice as long to do what I should have done if I had just gone slow to go fast. All right, on the next page, page three, we're going to go down through these key elements just very quickly because tomorrow is when we're going to talk about them. Setting up for success involves thinking through and making conscious choices about all of the things that could influence the outcome of the meeting. What is your purpose? We've, we've discussed this today. There are very few purposes of an IEP meeting. It's an initial, it's an annual, it's a triannual, it's a manifestation or <coughs> a kind of a special meeting. So we, we don't have a lot of purposes. Um, the context, uh, the assessment of the stakeholder analysis on the left. I want to know what I'm walking into. Now, I'm not talking about hiring private detectives to follow the family or the school staff. But what is it that I need to know before I walk in there? Where are the landmines? Is this family going through a difficult period right now? Is there a divorce? Oh, Lord, I, the, the divorce uh, where the parents have joint custody and hate each other? Oh, I want to know about this because that's always a difficult meeting. Um, are they in financial straits right now? Um, has there been a death in the family? All of these things color the way people participate. Have you ever been in an IEP meeting and you look across the table and you know in your heart of hearts that that mother is an abused and battered individual. They're not going to be forthcoming. They're not going to talk to you about what's on their mind if they have to go home tonight and tell that jerk they live with and get a busted lip for their efforts. Now, we can't counseling. We're not going to change that. But I can be empathetic and I can, I hope, provide a soft place for that person. That's what I'm talking about. I want to know what are the dynamics of the uh, school representatives. I hate to say this, but guys, we've got a lot of general ed people who are not receptive and, and welcoming to our kids. I mean, that's just the way it is. You all know of the math teacher that teaches math, they don't teach kids. You know, I want to know that going in on the front end. Because if I don't, if we get in there, we're going to look like the Keystone Cops. You know, we're going to look so uh, out of sync with each other and our mission is going to just be so blurred. So I want to know about the dynamics of the faculty. Uh, what might color their participation? And now, I'm not making a pass for any of these people. You know, because they don't want to serve kids doesn't excuse them from their obligation. But for warned is forearmed. And I want to know that. And again, I'm not talking about it being intrusive, but staff, help me understand who's going to be in there. What do I need to know?